In this video, I will be providing you 10 web design tips to help non-designers create a better looking website. The first tip is to limit yourself to one font across your entire website. Your font is the style that's applied to the text. If you look at your text and select it, you can choose a font from your dropdown. Make sure that the font you're using is the same, whether it's here for your main statement on your site, your menu, your title, uh, your button, or even in your footer. Using one font will just help reduce the design mistakes that people use. So that's number one. Let's move on to number two. Second design tip is to emphasize. Anything that's important on your web page should be emphasized. Things that I recommend emphasizing are the title of your page and the call to action. Here is my title statement. This basically says what my website is about. And here is my call to action. That tells people what to do next. There are several ways you can emphasize elements on your page. You can increase their size, you can make them bold, or you can give them a high contrast color. Let's move on to number three. My third tip to creating a great looking web page is to use white space. Now white space doesn't mean the space has to be white, but it just need but it just means that there needs to be ample amounts of room between anything that you want to call attention to or emphasize on your page. So in step number three, we talked about emphasizing our headline and also our call to action. So those should be surrounded with plenty of white space. Don't be afraid to leave plenty of white space around any of your content, however, because in general, the web is cluttered and it's easier for people to cut through that clutter by looking at a clean and simple interface. Let's move on to point number four. Number five is all about limiting your color selection to just an accent color. Don't try to get overly created by using a lot of different colors on your website. In fact, I recommend using black and white for the most part and then just using color for an accent. Here you can see my page for the most part is black and white and gray, except I've put a beautiful photo in the background and that really makes it pop. If I want to add an accent color, I can do that maybe with the button just by selecting it and then choosing an accent color from the fill tool. Let's move on to point number six. The sixth tip that will help you create a better looking design is alignment. Web Starts comes with a built-in alignment tool. We call them guidelines. You can enable the guidelines by clicking on view and then making sure the check mark is next to the word guidelines. The guidelines appear when you select an element and drag it about your page. You can see that bright pink line indicates when you're aligned with another element on your page. In this example, I've chosen to align everything in the center of my page. So I find my center alignment just by moving this blue or just by moving this element until I see that pink line going right down the page. Then I come back here and I move my button. So that's it's aligned on the same page. It also makes sense at times to align things left or right, but whatever you decide, make sure it's consistent throughout the elements on your page. So if I wanted to align all my elements to the left, I would choose to align them left. Then I would drag them over to another element, like for example, the name of my site up here, and make sure that they're aligned left. And then maybe I would drag my button over here and ensure that is aligned left as well. Let's move on to design tip number seven. Another way to create order in your design is to use a hierarchy. I like to use my text to form a hierarchy. That starts with my biggest text being the headline and then kind of working down from there. So for example, if I wanted to add another little statement about my product or service, I'd say, we build great products. I would want that subheading to actually be a smaller size than my title. So 
I might try choose something like paragraph large. I need to change the color to make it stand out. But that's a nice way to create some hierarchy and say, this headline is the most important thing I want you to read on the page. But if you want more information, the smaller text will tell you that. The eighth design tip is all about symmetry. Symmetry is essentially creating balance across your web pages. For example, I've placed my call to action button here in the bottom left corner. And to set that off, I have my shopping cart icon up here in the top right corner. Anything that you can do to counterbalance your page is going to be considered symmetry. Try to make it so that not all of the information on your page is jammed into one area. In my eighth tip, I talked about jamming all of your content into a single area and how that wasn't a good idea. This all really falls under a category that is your ninth web design tip, which is don't try to do too much. You'll have a tendency to want to tell everything that there is to tell on a single page of your website. Don't try to do that. Break it up into smaller chunks and put a little information on each page. Don't be afraid to make people scroll to find out more information. In the past, people weren't so used to scrolling and it was a good idea to put the most important things front and center, and still is, but people have been trained to scroll and they are likely to discover content even if it isn't the first thing they see when the page loads. My 10th and final web design tip is to go ahead and take a break. Everybody gets tired of staring at the screen and what looks to you good in this moment might not look so hot later. So don't be afraid to turn off the computer and go have yourself a Red Bull. Thanks for watching.